Welcome back to Off Earth 3D. I'm Daryl and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint urethane rubber. I mean, you look at this, you go, oh, it's a hard plastic piece, right? Not exactly. So let's talk about it. So here we have two urethane rubber forearm pieces for my upcoming Spartan build from Halo Reach. I wanted to make these malleable and able to take some abuse, but also able to bounce back and retain their natural shape. So I went with urethane rubber. Now, a lot of people might say, well, why didn't you just keep the 3D print? Well, the 3D prints are actually a lot heavier than these pieces. Um, I only used 24 grams, or I'm sorry, 24 ounces of PT Flex 85. So these are 85A Shore Hardness um, urethane rubber forearm pieces. I've also been on this crazy mission, um, I'd say for the better part of a year, researching Hollywood stunt suits, the materials that they use, how they achieve the things that they do with armors that are able to take abuse, whether it's walking around a con at a photo shoot or just doing your own crazy stunts for some short film. I think I found the solution and today we're gonna to talk about how to paint said solution. First product that I tested was this flexible urethane coating system from BJB Enterprises. Uh, the first is the TC89, which is a two-part primer. Zoom in so you guys can see. The TC89 is your primer that you would spray down first over your urethane rubber piece. And then after that is cured, you can then add your TC90, which is a clear gloss, clear coat, basically, that you can mix in different colors and pigments with to then color your piece. Alternatively, you would spray the primer first, then the TC90, then your color coat, and then you would top it off with another coat of the TC90. While this works really well, I wasn't able to dial in spray settings that I really liked with my gun, so I continued to look. After doing more research and speaking to my good friend Sam at Imperial Surface, he uh, got me hit to a product called Imperial Flex, which is a three-stage product. You have your clear coat, a reducer, and a hardener. Uh, it is mixed two one-to-one, -to -one, two parts clear, one part reducer, one part hardener. The great thing about this system is it plays well with pretty much any type of paints out there that you might be able to pick up, especially automotive, solvent-based paints. This stuff works lovely with it. It can be tinted with alcohol inks such as Copic, uh, markers or the Copic ink refills that I've shown before. Grab one for you. Just these guys here. So you can tint this. This is clear, super high gloss, and it works phenomenally. So similar to the products from BJB, this would go down first as a base coat, and then you can add things like a Luma Luster over the top of that, and you'll still get that shine that a Luma Luster provides uh, the same way that you would if you were spraying it on a rigid substrate like a raw 3D print or a resin cast helmet or something like that. And then you can mix your colorant into the next batch of this. So instead of needing a primer and then the TC90, you can pretty much go from your base coat of this to color. So you can take this and then mix color into it and then shoot it as your next layer and you will have a fully flexible, and durable piece. So we're gonna to demonstrate today using the Imperial Flex. I like the way that it sprays, it lays well, and everything like that. So that's what we're gonna do. And last but not least, our color. So our top color is gonna be a titanium metallic from Sim. This is their color coat. I think this is a pretty good match to the Halo Reach uh, armor color. So we're gonna be mixing some of that in with our Imperial Flex for our, actually our third layer. Our second layer will be a Luma Luster. So we're gonna shoot the Imperial Flex first and then we're gonna put a Luma Luster on top of that. And then we're gonna mix our color in with a third batch of Imperial Flex and shoot that over these forearm pieces. So I'm gonna get these parts cleaned up. I'm gonna wipe them down with acetone, let that flash off just to make sure that uh, you know they're good and ready. So let's get to it. 
The three MPPS cups are marked backwards. Uh, liner cup. You never throw this away. Always keep that. Your liner and cap are what are disposable. So we're going to mix up our two one to one mix of the Imperial Flex. process is the Aluma Luster is down on the forearm pieces and next I'm going to spray the Sim Titanium Metallic that has been mixed into the Imperial Flex as my top coat. So hopefully this all goes well and then we have some nice pieces to play with and I can show you guys the flexibility and durability of doing this process. <music> guys I'm happy to report that the paint application went really well I'm really surprised but will it crack off of here if I squeeze it let's see Well, would you look at that? Solid as a rock, baby. Doesn't scratch off either. The paint test was a success. We have successfully painted urethane rubber. Wow. It looks metallic. It flexes. It doesn't deform. It holds its shape. You can bash it against things and it just performs. So the concept is there. You can make basically a Hollywood stunt suit at home if you wanted to using this method. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I have been playing around a little bit off camera and I figured out a cool way to weather these. So if you'd like to see how to weather urethane rubber, uh, also drop a comment below. And as always, all the products that I use in this video will be linked in the video description. So make sure you leave a thumbs up. I've seen a lot of, you know, videos about this kind of stuff online, but never to this level, start to finish. Um, and the products and everything like that. I will say the only downside to this is, is if you have a shallow wallet, it might hurt a little bit paying for some of these products, but um, I, I think that this is a super viable option. I think anybody that has um, just basic mold making uh, skills and can slush cast 
can create products like this and then paint it at home, take it to a con, beat it up. Don't have to worry about it. I mean, you could fly with this. I could put this in a, in a regular suitcase and I wouldn't have to worry about like, you know, TSA or the people who pack airplanes up messing up my costume because it's pretty resilient. So as always, thanks for watching guys and don't be afraid to suck at something new.